Love Monster by Rachel Bright. Welcome to Cutesville, home of the fluffy. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree. He's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things. Official pile of extreme cuteness. Which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies, you know, cute fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps, but not being the moping around sort. He decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside. And outside. More than once he thought that maybe just maybe. He'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up. and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. Thanks for listening to Love Monster with me. Isn't it fun finding out how Love Monster found a friend to love him just the way he is? Know that you are special and loved too. Bye.